or Mr. Hunter, whatever, whatever he wants to be called. Um, <clears throat> the coordinates are ways of getting things exact. How exact is AutoCAD? Really, really exact? Like 10 decimal places exact? Yeah. So more than you'd ever need. <clears throat> but you want to tell it, even if you're only using one decimal place or no decimal places, you want to be that that exact spot. Uh, so there's a way of, to tell out against, like, you want to try to draw and paint before? Yeah. Or word or using the things. You can't ever get things to line up right, right? Here we can tell it we want it to be this size. And so how we do, we do that is with Cartesian coordinates. Does anyone know what that means? XY plane? Yeah, XY. We have XY coordinates. Um, we also have Z, but we're not going to do that in this class. In 4B, we'll do 3D and then we'll do some Z stuff. But this class is XY. <clears throat> and how do we write it? How do you write XY coordinates? Uh, X comma Y. Yeah. X value comma your Y value. Just remember that. X comma Y. So which is the X? What? The horizontal. Yeah. There it is. And so, positive, so this is the, the origin where the x and y cross, that's what? Zero, zero. Zero, comma, zero. The origin. Over there is positive x. What do you think is over here? Negative, negative, negative x. Negative x. What's up? Positive y. Positive y. Positive y. Down? Negative, negative, y. negative y. You guys are all pros. So that's our basic coordinate system. Let's do some practice ones. So where's that red dot? Four, three. Four, comma, three, right? What about the yellow? If you're not getting this, make sure you stop me so we make sure you get it. Because everything we do is built on this. What about the green? One. Blue? Five one. Five one. Anyone have problems on this? No? Alright. Well, I want to do that side. Or that side. Alright. <clears throat> now where is the red one? Negative one, negative one, negative one. Yeah. Negative one, negative one. Orange? Negative two, one. Green one? One, negative two. Blue? Any questions on these? No? I got it. So that's absolute coordinates, um, where we're measuring everything from the zero. So with dynamic, we look down at, okay. See this icon here? This is dynamic entry. And with this one turned on, it's not using absolute coordinates. So if you want to use absolute coordinates, you want to turn this off. So you just click on it, it turns gray, kind of like that. So if dynamic off, you just type in the coordinates and you're using absolute. If dynamic is turned on and you want to use absolute, you put the pound sign first. That's so it use absolute coordinates for this thing. And also usually the first point is always absolute. So if it asks you for a circle, you type in coordinates, it's going to be absolute, no matter if dynamics on or off. But the second point will be relative, which is what we'll talk about next. Okay? So absolute, we always measure from the zero. Any questions on that? That's usually a pretty easy one to understand. So let's 
figure out coordinates for this. If I was going to draw this out, what are the coordinates? So what's the coordinates of that corner right there? Yeah, zero, zero. What are the coordinates of that corner? If those dots are half an inch. One inch. These, these dots are half an inch. Oh, two inch zero two. Yeah. So that'd be zero comma two. What about that one? One point five two. Yep. One point five. So yeah. A half, one, one and a half on the X, and half, one, one and a half, two on the Y. So what about this corner? Someone from this side of the room. What's the coordinates of that point? Yeah, 1.51. Of that corner. From the front. From the front. What's this corner? 2.51. Yeah, 2.51. That's 1.51. 1. What's that corner? Anybody? 2.50. 2.50. Any question on that? So, I'm in AutoCAD. If I double click the wheel, that zooms extents. And you can see by the green and the red. The red is my X, the green is my Y. You can see. This little icon is right there at zero, 00. That's called the UCS icon. Yeah, we're not going to do anything with that here. If you don't want that, just type UCS icon and say off. Turns it off. Or you could do no origin. Instead of being at the zero, 00, it'll always stay here in the corner. <clears throat> so I usually don't like that sitting right in the middle. 2D stuff really doesn't mean anything. If you know X and Y, that's all you need. So I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to go to line. No, turn dynamic off. Now it's gray. It's off. So now it's asking me for my first point. So my first point is going to be 0 comma 0, right? Just going to type that in, enter. Now my second point, that was at 0 comma 1.5, right? Two. Is that two, right? Yeah. And you can see it's drawing it kind of small, but it was real big over here. Am I drawing it wrong? No, because I can put it in numbers, right? So that's right. If I want it to look bigger, what do I do? Zoom in. I just point at it, roll the wheel, maybe pan it up a little bit by holding the wheel. Now it's bigger on my screen. I can see what I'm doing. Now it was 1.5 comma 2. Coordinates. 
Did you ever see me click down in that command line? No, right? I just typed the number where my arrow was. You never have to click in the command line. Who else was here wanting to add? Did anyone forget to turn dynamic off? What happened? What? What? Did you leave it on by accident? No. All right. Well, we'll talk about what happens if you leave it on next. But some, no one did it. Everyone got it turned off. All right. You did it with it on. What happened? It went off the last point that I did. Yeah. It, instead of going off to the origin, it goes off from your last point. So we'll talk about that next. And if you watch the video. I actually do that. I forget to turn it off on purpose. So you can, so you can see what happens. Everything, everything's on purpose, right? <clears throat> Let me go watch the videos. The video, the, this video. About half. Okay. Yeah, about 15 people watched it between the two classes. <laughs> watch the videos before class. Before class next, before Wednesday's class, watch the one on layers. It's only like three or four minutes like that. Because most people got it, get in it. Yeah, we don't use snap. Because at the bottom you'll see there's one called snap, and you can set it to be a half inch snap. Why do you think we don't use that? Any ideas? Let me give you a hint. What's that? At the bottom, there's one down here, snap, and it's set to half an inch. So it's set to half an inch. Why don't we just use that? 
Why don't we just use a snap? Oh, it's exact. If it's snapping, you're going to exactly half an inch. But why, why not use that? You want to do less than half an inch? Yeah, if you want to do anything other than half an inch, it doesn't work. And this will probably be the last time we do the whole thing in half an, half an inch increments. So what if I do something that's an eighth of an inch increment? And you don't want to have to set your snap to an eighth of an inch. Because then you're like, or a sixteenth of an inch or whatever. So it's a lot easier just to type it in. <clears throat> so anyone else have problems on this? Anyone have problems? All right. So now the next thing we're talking about is relative coordinates. And this is what happens if you turn dynamic on. Turn dynamic on, it automatically wants to use relative coordinates for everything after that first point. Um, if you have dynamic turned off and you want to use relative, and there's some commands that you have to do this anyways, you, have, you put that at sign. That forces it to be relative. If you, want, if you go back to an AutoCAD version before like 2008, and there's still a lot of companies that use stuff that's before 2008. I know a couple companies that are using like 2002 or 2000. And so if you go back to one of those, they don't have dynamic. So if you want to use relative, you have to put the at sign every time. Just relative turned on, it automatically adds that for you. <clears throat> and so what this does, instead of going from the origin, you go from where you are, where the last point you entered was. That's why it doesn't work the first time, because you don't have a last point. <clears throat> so like on here, Resize this earlier. If I'm going to start it here, you notice now it doesn't say origin there anymore. What does it say? What have I told it to say? I just said start, right? Because we don't have to start at the origin anymore. So now since we're going off the last point, we can start anywhere on the drawing that we want. If I go from here, I just pick a point. And now what I want is from there to here. That's the only thing I care about. So what's that coordinate? Still half inch spacing. Zero point five. That's zero comma point five, right? Now if I want to go to this point, where am I measuring from? Zero point five. I'm measuring from here, right? So what's the coordinate from here to there? One zero. Yeah, one zero. Now if I want to go up, let's hear from someone else. But from here to there, what's that coordinate? One comma one. No, no, not one comma one. Okay. What from here to here? Zero comma five. Yeah. Zero comma point five, right? So all I care about is that one. These two are the same. How is that? Why are those two the same coordinate? The same but one's from point to point. Yeah, because that line is the same as that line. All we care about when we're using relative is what that, that new line is. You don't care about anything else in the whole drawing. Just that what what do you want that new line to be? Now we're going from here to there, what's that? Zero point zero. One zero. right? Same as here. Now what's that angle? You go from there down to there. No. We're not doing angles. We're not measuring an angle. What's the XY coordinates for that? Oh. 0.5, negative 0.5? Yeah. 0.5 comma negative 0.5, right? We went to the left, so that's positive on the X. We went down, so that's negative on the Y. Now what's the next one? Good from here down there. Yeah, yeah zero comma negative point five. And then how to get back? C. C. So this is a way that you can just start. And if you mess up here, you just start there and you start going. Again. I'm just going to kind of pan over a little bit. 
back to line. What's another way I can get to the line command? I got out of that. How can I get back to the line command? Yeah, L. So it's L, enter, and I'm in line now. I gotta also type out the whole thing, line, but L works fast. <clears throat> so when it's just start right there. Middle of the square, doesn't matter. I'm going to go down and turn, turn dynamic turn input on. So now 0, 0,5, 1, comma. And you can see as I'm typing it, it's starting to going off the screen. Don't worry about it. Just finish typing, and then it'll go where you want it to go. That was supposed to be 0, comma, 0, 0.5, right? Just by typing that same thing in. If I hit F2, I can see the list. What happened right there? Messed up. Yeah, I messed up. So I just typed U. And what happened when I did that? It just ended that last little piece, right? What would have happened if I hit escape and U enter? Yeah, it would have undone that whole series of lines to that point. So, if you're, while you're in it, if you just do U, you just undo that last little piece. Any questions? Does this make sense? No? Does it make sense? Let me know. You will be using this a lot. If you don't get this, you won't, it'll be really hard. So let me know if you don't get it. Go ahead and draw that. I see when you get to, I see the percentage of the whole thing. Oh, it said you're done, and that didn't show anything. Yeah. It just shows in there. But if I want to look at it, it's a good But it's not part of the grade or anything. So I'm not even trying to. It's for you to, to understand. Where do we go? Put 
3 values, you actually want to function z. So you did x, y, z. Okay, just type in the coordinate. So any questions on this? No questions? Alright. I'm going to take over. So now that we've got x, y coordinates, sometimes we have things that we need to use an angle for, right? You can't do everything just x, y. I mean, you can, you can figure out what the xy coordinates if you have an angle, but that's trig. I don't like trig. I can draw it way faster than I can do it using trig. It would be a lot faster than I can figure out which formula to use. Uh, so, we have angles now, okay. Zero is out to the right. A lot, a lot of things are used, zero is like at the top or something. In AutoCAD, zero is to the right. So don't forget, zero is to the right. Which way do you think is positive angles? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Counter. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, counterclockwise <laughs> is positive angles. A lot of people think that clockwise is positive angles, but no, it's counterclockwise. So what do you think it clockwise is? Counter or negative. negative angles. So what's straight up? The zeros to the right. What's straight up? 90 degrees. 90. And also what? That's our positive angle. What's our negative angle? Negative 90. No. Negative 90 is there. No. What, what, what's the other angle that's right here? Negative 270. So usually we don't use those negative high numbers. Usually we'll stay between 0 and 180, either positive or negative. And then back here, got both positive 180 and negative 180. So if you want to go right, it's a 0. Up is 90, left is 180, down is negative 90. So you'll figure, usually if you go down here, you'll measure negative, up here you measure positive. Questions? <clears throat> Let's do a little geometry there. So if I have, that's a pretty bad drawing. So if I have that line going there, what, what's the same, what can, do I know about those two? Yeah, I can add these, this one and add that, I get 180, right? Because it's a straight line. If I had another one here, this parallel, what do I know about this one and that one? They're the same, right? There's a nice little chart back there that says all that. <clears throat> the red one. Tells you all that same thing. <clears throat> so, if I am given this angle, what angle do I need to know for AutoCAD? So if I give you something, that I give you that. What do you need to know from that? So let's say I, I say that's 120 for this. That's 120 degrees for that angle. What do you really need to know for AutoCAD? You need to know this, right? Yeah. So how do you find what this angle is? You care about that. Right, right 90. Yeah, you know this is 90, right? And then this whole thing's 120, so it's 120 minus 90. So you, that gives you 30. 
this is the math that we do, adding and subtracting. So you need to be able to get that geometry stuff going. <coughs> so we can use, it's called relative polar. You can use absolute polar, but I've never used it. I always use polar with dynamic turned on. So I can always go from that last point to the next point. And now instead of giving it an x and a y value, I'm going to give it a distance and an angle. So I can give it the distance that I want to go and what angle I want to go at. You know, take me there. Okay. So same thing. Then I have sign, you just put it in. And now I don't really have any nice little angle symbol. So the less than symbol looks like an angle, so that's what we use. Okay? So it's the distance less than the angle. So let's do this. So I'm going to start here. What's the coordinates of that corner? One, that's my distance, the angle symbol, or less than, 90. and then 90, because it's going up, right? Now what about from here to here? 130. Yeah, so it's one, angle 30. But how do I know that's 30? It's 120. I just, I just did it, right? Look familiar? 120 from the from straight, the, from, from the vertical line to that. 120 from the vertical line up. So all I need to do is find, okay, there's my zero. Now this is what I want, right there. So that's always what you do. If you can't figure it out, draw the zero line, and then figure out what you need to know. You're going to fill in what you do know. So that's from there. Now let's go from here to there. What do I know? The distance is one. Yeah, distance is one again. So what, one. Negative. But what angle is that going to be? Negative. So let's, let's go through and figure it out. So I'm going to go from there straight over to the right. That's my zero, right? And so I need to know what that is. And I know from there to there is 120. I have no idea what that is. What else do I know? So can I figure this out yet? Yeah. What else do I know? If I continue this line up, do I know that? Yeah. If I continue this line up here, what's that angle? 180. That's 180. Do I know that? This angle here? Oh, both of them here. But I know it there, right? So that would be my 30 also. So now I can do 180 minus 120 minus 30 gives me another 30. Is that positive or negative 30? That's negative 30. Anyone lost here need help? Let me to do it again. So I just found what I knew. I just kind of went through it. Okay, I know if I extend that out, that's 180. So I'm already, this is 120. Because these two lines are parallel, those two are the same. So I already knew what that was, I know what that is now. And then just the law of subtracting. Okay? What about from here to there? What's that? 
5, negative 9. We walk from there. What's that? 1, 0. Yep, 1, 0. So 1, angle, 0. So from there, going down, what is that? 0.5, 7. Negative. Yeah, 0.5. <laughs> <laughs> I can do. 270, right? Or you can do negative 90 again. We'll just keep it simple. Right? Count <clears throat> over, line. Start here. One. What else do you notice on the screen? Degrees. Notice that it, it's, on, it's already telling me the distance and the angle. If I hit tab, I can go through between those also. This is only if dynamics is turned on. You can use the tab to go between them. So I can go one, tab. Watch what happens now. That line is fixed at one, and this, that angle is changing. So I get to say 30, enter. I get tab, negative 30, tab back, negative 30. See, so yeah, I can change the distance, or type the length. So then I can say, what was that? So that was 0.5, angle, Negative 90, 1, angle 0, if you get messed up like that, just hit tab a couple times and it'll fix it, 1, angle 0, 0.5, angle negative 90, and close it. Okay, so I've got that one. Go ahead and do that. Right now, gone. Yeah, that one. There you go. Now, when you bring it up, you see now the other one. Oh, okay. And don't click in the command line. If you, kick it, if you click in the command line to put in your coordinates, it won't add the at sign for you. And it'll all be absolute. So, you never have to click down there at all. Never, ever, ever.
Mess up, just start again, pick where you left off. questions. Now I'll show you some things later on that will make this go a little faster, a little easier, um, but still there's times when you have to come back and use the basics. So that's what we're still going over. It's always good to know the basics, then if the, good, if the, the new stuff doesn't work, you can always go back to it. 